This is a place value chart, and I'm going to explain to you what we do for a daily routine with this place value chart, starting in preschool, and then we continue it all the way through first or second grade until the student has a very firm, good grasp on what place value is and how you can use it to understand numbers and it is addition and subtraction and even multiplication. Place value can help with all those things. So this is a place value chart and I'm going to explain to you the daily routine we do, but first when you look at a place value chart, you'll always have ones on the far right side, and that might be all you have on your place value chart is ones. Next to the ones place is the tens place. Next to the tens place is the hundreds place. And then after that comes the one thousands place. Next would be ten thousands and hundred thousands, but we won't go that far today. These little blocks are called base 10 blocks. You'll see them in most math curriculums. You can order a set of them on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. I like the foam kind because then they don't make noise when you drop them. And um, these are ones units and they are a ones unit that represents one individual item in a number. When you use base 10 blocks, this one will always go in the ones place. When you're learning place value, you learn that you can have up to nine ones in the ones place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When you get more than nine, we're gonna to have to move those to a different place value. I'll get to that in a second. Those are ones on a place value chart. I'm gonna leave just one one there on the place value chart. They can also be called individual units. And this one or this individual unit goes in the ones place. And it's worth just one individual thing. The next part you'll see on a place value chart is the tens. This is the tens place right here. And this is called a 10 long. It can also be called a rod or it can be called um, a group of 10. And sometimes I'll take one of my 10 longs or rod and I will write the numbers on it to show students how it can be split up. I've had this one for a long time and used it with a lot of students. The numbers are almost rubbed off. But you can see how I just broke it apart and showed students that this 10 long or rod or group of 10 can be made by putting 10 ones together and I'm going to show you that now. If you take 10 of these little units, 1, 2, 3, oops, it's hard to do this, that's why they glue it together and make a tens rod, 3, 4, 5, whoops, that one has Velcro. I've used it on something else before. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whoops, 10. Then 10 of these yellows is equal to one of those greens. 10 individual units is the same as a group of 10. And so when we get 10 individual units, we would 
not glue them together because we want to be able to reuse them. We would just exchange them for a 10 long. So we want students to know that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ones is equal to one group of ten or this ten long, this rod. Um, so they aren't labeled usually. They're just blank like this. But you can see that they are ten pieces glued together. That one has Velcro on the back from where I've used it on a chart in the past. Ten individual units glued together makes a ten long or a rod or a group of ten and that would go in the tens place. And then we have a group of a hundred. This is a group of a hundred and a group of 100, of course, would go in the hundreds place. And we want students to know that it takes 10 groups of 10 to make 100. So there's one group of 10, two groups of 10. And you could keep going across and show. I think mine all have Velcro, so they're hard to stack on there neatly. Three groups of 10. Four groups of ten, five groups of ten, six groups of ten, seven groups of ten. Oh, it fell off because the Velcro is pushing it. Eight groups of ten, nine groups of ten, ten. Oops my Velcro. These really are the same. 10 groups of 10 is equal to 100. So you want students to know that. And then this blue, I've shown in the past how you could write the numbers on each individual block there, but it's much quicker and easier to just use this block of 100 than counting 100. But that's equal to 10 groups of 10. And then if you stacked 10 of these blue ones together, you would get a thousand. So this is a thousands cube. It would take 1,000 of these yellow units put together to make this thousands cube. So your thousands cube would go over here in the one thousands place. So this is a place value chart. And in my next video, I'll show you what we do with our place value chart in a daily routine.